The only hype man you need right now is you. The only person who's going to bring you across that finish line is you. That love you feel, those desires, that burning passion that you'd like to share with the world. That it's not a matter of persuasion. Convincing people about the validity of feeling or the validity of the connection. It's about demonstrating your power. That the world, people, all things in this world are waiting for you to demonstrate your power. That I'm sensing some of you have forfeited too much uh, of your permission to others. That you do not give yourself the green light unless you feel that every single little pigeon sitting in the nest is absolutely okay. They have to turn each and every little egg over to be sure that everything is good and everything is okay. And you have to be sure you always bring back a little bit extra straw, a little bit extra fine cloth that you find lying around for all those chirping mouths, you're beginning to find yourself unable to attend to all the things that keep these routines, this world together, that you've become so overwhelmed by the amount of attention required by the people around you. I'm sensing that you have this burning passion to complete this work, to commit yourself to a goal and dream, and yet it seems that there are just too many turtles that need help crossing the road uh, along your drive. There are too many times when there's nobody else that is left but you to apparently save the day. You're receiving this message to try to start building some of those boundaries and defining for yourself what are your expectations of what you need to be able to give to others. It's not up to others to define what is the quality of your time what is the quality of what it is that you have to give it's up for you to decide at this time what is quality time what is valuable time when and how you are able to give this time it's not up to others to dictate how you use your time the universe is telling you at this time to take back how you share your energy you are being called to take control of choice that if each and every day you are not given the opportunity of choice of when and how you do things your soul is having its energy being mitigated. Uh, it's almost as if there's a cap put on your energy if there are those that you must seek permission for the actions you'd like to take. You're being called to realize that there is a cost for calling out the elephant in the room. That if you do so, you have to then therefore assume the responsibility. You have to assume the responsibility of the world that you want to see because others might say, well, you called out the elephant, well, off with you. We don't need people talking about the elephant. We need people keeping their nose down, getting to work, doing what they're told to do. Not people who like to talk about the obvious. And by making this choice, you're choosing to step onto a path of personal greatness. You're choosing to embark on a journey where you and you yourself alone are going to be the sole responsible individual for creating the paradigm that you would like to see. I'm sensing that there's a lot of strife, havoc, turmoil. There are a lot of moving pieces and a lot of sides uh, having issues with each other. That there are a lot of people in your life right now who are just simply not on the same page. Uh, there's a lack of ideal circumstances I'm sensing for some of you to operate under. Let me, let, let me put it this way. Uh, let's say I am telling you, you need to sell in your store 10,000 coats in the middle of summer. And if you don't sell 10,000 coats by the end of summer, then you are losing your job. Now that is some unrealistic circumstances because we don't wear coats during the summer because it's too warm. So... What the universe is trying to tell you right now is that your circumstances are just very difficult. That to move uh, even a small unit forward is going to require a tremendous amount of effort. And so it feels right now. That each and every turn you go, there's someone, something barking at you. Uh, just really having this toxic energy that you have to navigate. Like these apparitions of demons that just pop up and demand twisted riddles in order for you to pass that you're at this place in your life where it seems that each and everything just has to be tooth and nail you're not sure why it just seems that everything has to be tooth and nail i'm sensing some of you are trying to meditate beyond the madness and see why it is here what the universe is trying to get you to master some of you realize the simplicity that is just simply calling you for patience others are looking for the more complex meanings within but ultimately the universe wants you to get to a place where your life is filled with joy happiness and excitement the universe wants you to get to a place where you're able to transform your reality, live under completely different circumstances, be a totally different person. That there are a lot of opportunities that are reaching out to you, that are connecting to you. The universe is telling you to have faith in what it is that you are seeking to create. Now, the universe is trying to indicate that you have a lot of different options pulling you, but it's up to you to decide what is completely aligned with your destiny. You have to think what is the most important quality in either people or opportunities that you are looking towards at this time. 
I'm sensing that you have a tendency to go to the familiar. You have a tendency to go to the same place over and over. It's like, hey, what park do you want to go to today? Oh, I don't know. Let's go to the same one we go to every day. Or where do you want to eat today? I don't know. The same place we eat every day. Or, you know, what do you want to do? It seems too cyclical. That life is beginning to have that dullness to it because I'm sensing that there's no variety. There's a bunch of, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And the endless I don't knows is just creating this quagmire of uh, of problematic realities for some of you. That you have the faith, the imagination to build something, but I'm sensing that you really feel like you got to drag an anchor around to do it. Some of you, I feel like, really feel like you're given this task of carrying this extremely heavy object uphill and then running back down with it uphill while holding other things. That you feel like that at this time you're just given extremely unrealistic performance expectations. That you are being expected to do a lot with very little resource, or for some of you, very little time, for others, very little sleep. The universe is telling you to focus on your desires, your joys, what is truly meaningful for you. And I'm sensing that you're not really, ironically, working in the most healthy ways towards your goals. You have this picturesque idea of desire, and you're seeing it as a finish line. Some of you are missing the point that this is an energy that needs to be cultivated. This is a way of life that needs to be harnessed. I'm sensing some of you are just like, you know, once I cross that finish line, I'm going to address some of those root issues. And, you know, to, to each their own, I'm guessing at this point, the universe is trying to tell you that new opportunities to try to break you out of your, you know, your stifling rituals, I'll put it simply that way. Uh, the universe wants to get you onto some things that, you know, are honoring yourself in a new way. Now, I'm sensing your mentality right now is all about love. You want to share love, give love, receive love. It's important for you to feel love, feel the depth of emotion between you and others. The universe is working to get you at this time to be able to share your love on your journeys, to be able to blossom more, feel like you can be more open. The universe doesn't want you to feel like you have to keep love trapped in a jar that you're being called to confidently express it. You don't need to be around the bush about it or too figurative about it. You don't have to get too caught up in the wordplay. You can be honest. It doesn't have to be this poetic gesture. It can just be realness. That the authenticity of the moment is going to really speak volumes to others at this time. I'm sensing for some of you, there's something that's been going on in the background, like silence. And it's this feeling that both of two people acknowledge, but no one has made a move on. And so I'm sensing that the best way for those feelings to come to fruition is just through honesty. And so the universe at this time is helping you to be able to move towards your great works, move towards the path where you're going to receive the most significant amount of success. Trust in your guiding intuition, trust in the way that you feel. The universe is telling you that you're going to arrive towards your desires closer than you think. That you're going to find something in this world that is just truly immersive. You cannot get enough of it. You're going to find a new pathway towards discovery. And you're going to find on this quest that you have this strong aura about you. You have this new hunger and thirst for knowledge. That you have this new world of ideas that you are ready to explore. The universe is looking to surround you with people who are, I'm sensing, of your nature. Strong emphasis on shield siblings, for example. People who bring you warmth of the heart. And I'm sensing the universe is helping to bring you closer towards these things. The universe wants to see you be able to put your faith and your imagination into motion. It wants to see you come forward and come out on top. Trust in your instincts, trust in where you're going, and trust the way that you feel. The universe wants you to be able to receive those desires. I'm sensing that you've almost up until now have had too much to deal with to be able to focus on your personal joys. And now the universe wants you to be able to steer towards that true and authentic happiness. Let's see what your heart needs to hear at this time. What does your heart need to hear at this time? To start off, a strong emphasis on your crown chakra. Focus on the conversations with spirit that are important to you. Whatever your spiritual practices may be, be sure to open up your mind to what 
God, universe, spirit is trying to bring to you at this time. You're at a place where you're feeling just really helpless and hopeless. You're feeling like there's nothing really reaching out to you. Some of you I'm sensing, you know, really going off of what we're talking about at the beginning of the video, you really feel like you're pitted in this energy, this sense of um, overt self-reliance that you're, you have this feeling of being too self-reliant, too dependent. You're really feeling that there's nobody but you really looking out for you. But yet you're still finding it within yourself to share the love and the universe finds this to be beautiful. And therefore you're finding yourself to glow in a way that you, can, you couldn't imagine previously. The universe is trying to get you to understand at this time that if you are ready to listen, you will be shown the way out of this, this tricky situation. Be ready to listen, be ready to receive. And the universe wants to be able to help you to immerse into this truly wonderful and beautiful experience. Trust in what spirit is trying to teach you at this time as well. It's trying to teach you that your heart needs to be able to listen to the calls and the commands of the Most High. That I'm sensing if love is becoming too difficult or for some of you I'm sensing love feels too blind. You're being called at this time to allow the higher powers to come in and bring clarity to things as far as matter of the heart. You don't need to worry about the truth. You need to worry about continuing to share, continuing to give. Some of you I'm sensing feel like you've been running cold. Uh, you've been feeling that your ability to give and share love has almost shriveled up. You feel that you're almost a specter. Uh, a phantom, uh, a, a spiritual being who is on the sidelines watching the world go. You have lost interest in becoming that participant. And I'm sensing what your psyche needs to know at this time is really just focus on what gets you back down to earth. It's very interesting. Your heart needs to connect to the most high, but your psyche really needs to get down to the basics. Uh, vegetables, <laughs> earth, outside, fresh air, escaping the artificial dome. Hey, uh, we have this uh, gorilla in the zoo and we keep giving it these awesome beach balls, fake trees, uh, fake turf, and we give them lots of human-made snacks. Uh, can't imagine why they're unhappy. You know, they get to see people all the time outside their glass dome. Lots of people to stare at and stare back at them. Can't imagine why they're unhappy. We need to find something to treat this gorilla with. It must be a biological reason. It's sad. What I'm sensing here at this time, you're beginning to wake up from the BS. You're beginning to realize that the universe has really pitted you uh, in a place where information is weaponized against you. You need to understand that the universe has not necessarily put you into a place where you can always just trust. You have been teleported down here because there is this negativity that needs to be broken up. Uh, the planet is in a place where it needs its own rejuvenation. It needs to come back to life. Uh, you are here to bring it back to life and you are being called through your works to do so. The universe is going to continue to supplement you, nurture you, take care of you if you do what you're supposed to do. Some of you keep getting sidetracked. You keep getting pulled into the persuasive pitches, the persuasive themes. Uh, other people's ideas seem intriguing for a moment, but yet you're being called to stay true to your one star in sight. Focus on connecting, getting just real with yourself, your routines. I can do this for myself. I can do that for myself. Get grounded, get connected. The universe is trying to help show you that you have power onto yourself. That the universe is going to help you at this time to stand your ground. It's going to help you to be able to step further into your power. Uh, stand up for who it is that you are. The universe is listening to you. It is watching you. It is guiding you. You are by no means being shortened. Some of you feel like that you are just pressing the, like it's like you're pressing the elevator door and it's not opening. And you're angry and so you keep pressing the button and you're just waiting for it to unfold and it's just you're growing impatient but yet you still hear the elevator music it's just like when you're trying to like get in contact with like that important agency that regulates support paperwork and it's like you are caller number one seven eight your wait time is approximately two hours 45 minutes please stay on the line do 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 and you got that music going on you're pacing you're angry the kids are yelling the food's burning on the stove and it's like it's, all this stuff is going down but in all of that you are finding your power you are finding your strength and you are finding the portal that is opening up and you're able to go right through it in the universe you are going to be realizing that there are many things that have been looking out for you for longer than you could imagine and have been working to get you to this place of self-found power, self-found reliance. You're being called at the time, you know, I'm sensing some of you have really have grown, you know, and this is re relevant to everybody to some scale, you know, something unhealthy in your life has really crept up and taken over. 
Uh, you have really have stopped pursuing new joys, excitements, thrills. Uh, some of you, the word that's coming through, you just kind of sedated yourself. Uh, you've done something that makes it so you don't have to try too hard. Uh, you'd rather feel the mellow than feel uh, feel the burn. And, and, that, and that's the issue here. The universe wants to break you out of this comfort zone. It wants you to get more creative as far as what you do to find happiness and purpose. I'm sensing at this time it's extremely important for you to just realize that you have to stand your ground for your values. And that if you're not standing ground for values, nobody else is. And you think that there's somebody else there that shares your values, they're not there. You are a unique imprint of energy upon this earth and what you have to share is genuinely authentic and important we are all the same in many ways but we are all uniquely individual as far as our self-mastery your self-mastery is going to look differently than my self-mastery and so you're being called to stand up for yourself because it's not up to somebody else to dictate how it is that your life is supposed to unfold it is up to you to push those situations forward Trust the portals that are opening at this time that are encouraging you to step into higher timelines. Uh, the universe is telling you to usher in this new uh, sense of self, uh, this new self-image, sense of self-respect. Let's see how you are handling your social life, your romantic life, family, anything that has to do outside of kind of like your own creative noggin here. How are you handling your interpersonal relationships? Some of you, coworkers. For some of you, <laughs> the halflings that run around the home, <laughs> it, 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 whatever it may be. Now, trust the universe is calling you to take a leap of faith with something. Beautiful fool card here. You're being called to follow your instincts. Trust in what the universe has prepared for you as far as a portal, a new highway, a new dimension. And that has been a strong theme so far in the cards. It's been a really strong theme that something new is going to kind of, it's like going to open out of the sky. It's just going to walk along one day and there's just a rift. And it's just the wind is gushing and blowing. And it's like somebody jumps to the rift and says, come along, we don't have a lot of time. And you're trying to look around and you're like, all right, well, it's here, it's now, right? You know, I am sensing that there is futility in your interpersonal relationships. I'm sensing that there are things that are very clearly hidden. Um, I'm sensing for some of you, you've worked very hard on building a self-image. I'm sensing some of you have also been working hard on building new joy and finding new desires. I'm sensing that there are things in your life that are hidden, not obvious, uh, not so openly shared. And I'm sensing that right now the universe is helping to build a bridge to get you into that next reality. The universe wants to see you be able to step into your strength. I'm seeing the tower coming through for some of you. It's going to really eradicate um, people, friends, coworkers, whatever it may be that don't need to be in your life anymore out uh huge cleansing energies coming through saying hey you know no longer welcome no longer needed you have a sharp mind on what it is that you want i'm sensing that you have these very passionate dreams and goals uh but right now i'm seeing right now you are the word coming through from the universe is seduced there's something that you're enamored by there's something that you just can't get your eye off of your soul off of there's something that you are truly yearning for and I'm sensing that the universe at this time is helping you to feel this infectious draw, this pull, uh, the power of chemistry. There is this new temptation in your life, this new fantasy. I'm sensing for some of you it's not quite fully unfolded or out of the woodworks yet, so to be. But I'm sensing, however, this is tension that is building up in the background. And I'm sensing that you have worked very hard to curate a reputation. However, I'm sensing that your desires, your pleasures, your joy might shatter and break that image that you have known for yourself. Let's see how it is that you are handling your passions at this time. How are you handling your passions? I'm sensing you're beginning to truly realize your inherent value. You're seeing how good you really are, how magnetic you are. You're getting a lot more attention than usual for what you do. However, I'm sensing that there are people in your life who are resenting this attention. There are people who I'm sensing you feel like that you're falling out of faith with, trust with. I'm sensing that there are people that you're hoping would back you up in your life who just haven't been there for you in the way that you've wanted them to be. There are things in your life that are really slowed down. The universe is trying to get you to be more in tune with your interpersonal relationships. 
It's trying to get you to be more in tune with your personal happiness goals. The universe wants you to be able to stand out and shine bright. It wants you to be surrounded by people who are supporting you. And I'm sensing that some of you feel really heartbroken about something. You feel like there's a whole world that you'd like to share with somebody important to you, but I'm sensing that they just don't care. They don't really want to be a part of it. They're just kind of like, that could be your thing. And it's not like it's just one of those like, oh, this is my interest and not yours. It's a really, it's a really big deal to you. It's a really important thing. It's a really important thing for this person to just decide that they don't want to be a part of. Uh, they don't really care. They'll very surface level be like, oh, how's your day? And, and it's just really not for some of you it's not believable anymore. There are delays in your life because the universe wants you to be sure that you're fully invested in this new world that you want to create. I'm sensing that you are filled with passion. You're being guided by spirit. You're trusting your intuition, your hunches. You're being called to let go of circumstances that don't serve you. I'm sensing that some of you are dealing with some really stifling energy, that you're being called to kind of break up this toughness, break away from this roughness. You want to be able to be working in a way that is more smooth in motion you want to have a plan i'm sensing some of you are just kind of living life by like the seat of your pants lately like you're really just winging things you really you wake up every day like what am i going to do all right scramble 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 you got no plan because i'm sensing every time you try to make a plan it gets knocked over like a stack of cards and then it's frustrating because you've invested all that time and now you have all these things that while you're planning and strategizing have stacked up and now you got to go back in your wild mode of trying to multitask and do all these things and it's just not working you know you're right now motivated by your fantasies your desires and that's what's keeping you teeth and nail moving towards things but some of you are really dealing with some tough circumstances some of you are really dealing with some overwhelming challenges trust that the universe at this time wants you to know that abundance is coming your way that you have worked so hard for what it is that you're trying to obtain but however they're just a few, few final tests that the universe is sending your way right now these have a lot to do with confidence um, energetic completion, um, soul purpose, knowing where you're going, knowing who you're serving, what you're serving, for why you're doing these things. The universe wants to be sure all those blanks are ironed out. Now we're going to see what's aligned for your destiny. How well are you taking on your destiny? And is the universe synchronized with you? Is it in harmony with you? Is it singing with you? Because you have picked up the torch and you have followed the prescribed path. I'm sensing that your spirit is aflame, that many spirits are working with you for you. You have many familiars by your side because you radiate that divine glow. You are filled with passion. You're finding useful ways of transmuting your given situation. You're making the best out of circumstances, whereas others would have just caved. And there's just this need to prove yourself, this refusal to give up. And that is what you need. And once you have gotten this feeling, you have won. Congratulations. Once you have instilled this feeling, I will not give up. I will not surrender. These desires will be accomplished. And the universe will therefore grant you it because you've matched the vibration of what is required to hold such things. Trust that the universe at this time recognizes just how talented you are, how aligned you are, how perfectly synchronized you are for this moment. Just let yourself shine. Put yourself out there and allow the success to come through. If it was easy, everybody would do it. If it was easy, everybody would do it. The universe has put you through tough times, oppressive circumstances to really get you to see who you are. How do you handle the pressure? How do you handle the pressure? And it seems they've handled it marvelously, that you have been transmuted like the diamond under pressure. You've come out refined and beautiful. You are a beacon of light to many. We're now going to draw a card from the Animal Messages Oracle to conclude this reading. See what animal spirit is guiding you at this time. What animal spirit is guiding you at this time? The hippopotamus. Friends stay close by to shield you from life's adversities. Trust that there are certain people who are in your life to look out for you. That there are people who really do want what's best for you. There are people who really do want to see you come out on top and win. And there are some people who just really don't. Even though they might be fronting like, we're your buddy. But they're really just waiting for you to down for your downfall so they can feel like they have the justified claim to what they believe to be theirs. The universe is telling you at this time to trust that agents of your own spirit are being sent your way to support you. Uh, to protect you from... Some of you I'm sensing neglect. 
Some of you are feeling really neglected, forgotten. Um, really just at the bottom of people's priorities list. Uh, you really feel just, some of you, you know, it's just this really deep sadness coming through, unloved. Uh, really unloved, taken for granted, swept to the side and forgotten. Uh, that you really feel like that nobody but you is looking out for you. But the universe is going to send you the people who really are. They are on your side and they're ready to stand up for you. They're ready to support you. They're ready to do whatever they need to do to show their allegiance. The universe is calling in all S.H.I.E.L.D. siblings at this time. And they're here to help restore that inner glory that you deserve to carry. Like that proud medal that you've earned. My Divinity is yours. It's been an honor to read for you today. Personal readings and life coaching services are available at SeldomDreams.com. If you're looking to check out some cool merchandise, we have a beautiful selection of Obsidian products from our Obsidian Scrying Mirrors, Spheres. We also have a collection of necklaces that are available, along with other eclectic Obsidian tools that you might find useful in your craft. Obsidian is particularly useful for scrying, which is the use of a prolonged gaze to conjure a spiritual effect. Obsidian's reflective surface proves to be quite useful and effective for this art. Now on the channel, there is a video that teaches you all you need to learn about it, or you can just find that same YouTube video in the description on the website. Check out SeldomDreams.com for our life coaching, tarot reading services, and also our eclectic merchandise that is available. My divinity is yours. And until next time, blessings and take care.